Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel guys. If you are new here, welcome and if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and get a message from your ancestors and your angels. Let's see what the message is like for you guys today. Now this is a general message, it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who reach out for those and thank you to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who have subscribed. So let's jump into this, Virgos. Now, I did do a pre-shuffle and you did have, if you believe and listen to your intuition coming out here. Now, it did give me the impression here that maybe someone here wants to do something or your ancestors and your angels have been sending you some kind of downloads or signs or synchronicities here. But someone here may be doubting those signs, right? Because if you believe came out sideways. So let's see what we get here today. What do we have from our Virgos? What is the message here, Spirit? What is it that they need to know? Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos. All right. What is the message here? Show me. For Virgo. So the first one turning over here is no need to worry. So that release that fear, release the anxiety, release the stress. Now it's almost like I'm hearing somebody say that's not easy to do. It's easy to say, but not easy to do. Well, I guess that depends on how you look at life. I, I guess that depends on how big your faith is. Give me a card for going forward. The sign of Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. What are we getting stuck on a year from now? And what is that behind it? Communicate clearly. It's almost like for someone here, if they have the faith, a year from now, things could be so much different for you. And then we have be assertive. Yeah. The bottom of the deck, we still have communicate clearly. So someone here is not speaking up about something. They're not making how they feel known. It's almost like that energy of suffering in silence. What is the no need to worry? We have awakening and we have the queen of earth, which is your energy here, Virgos. And it says, look at things from a different perspective. It says a temporary standstill. It says it's important to be yourself here. So something here may have been delayed or something here may be taking longer than somebody kind of likes. But with this energy, you know, are you creating your own um, delay here? We have the emperor. This is about leadership. This is about taking control. You know, it says organization and logic. It says structure and discipline. You know, to me, the emperor is also that energy of, you know what, fighting for what you believe in. Fighting for what you've created. Fighting for what you want to create. No need to worry. Why is it here? What is the message here? From the ancestors and angels. Thank you, spirit. The five of wars. Time for somebody to come out of the energy of moping. It says things not turning out the way you'd hope. It says not seeing the positive in a situation. It says crying over spilt milk. You know, sometimes it, it gives me this energy where I feel like I want to say, do you know what? Sometimes we, we create these ideas in our head or these plans or um, whatever it is, right? And we, we kind of run ahead and say, yeah, you know, this is going to work out. This is the person for me. This is the job for me. And sometimes it isn't. So sometimes when those things fail, you know, we kind of, um, we kind of sink with it. Instead of saying, oh my goodness, you know, why didn't this work out for me? You know, what, what's the issue here? Um, what is, what, what's the plans ahead? You know, what, what does spirit have for me ahead? Why this didn't work out? It's sometimes, you know, we're put in situations where we need to kind of learn lessons or um, see things from a different perspective or be awakened to something. 
Now, I'm not saying that people can't get sad about situations. What I'm saying is don't get stuck in that sadness. What is the Five of Cups? Why is the Five of Cups here? Thank you, Spirit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a lot. It's a lot. So uh, this could have something to do with a king of air, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Or this could have something to do with, like I said, maybe you had some kind of plans or um, some kind of an idea or something. But again, you know, the energy of communicate clearly, the king of air does talk about communication. It says, speak your mind. It says, speak your mind with confidence. It says, seek out professional advice. It says balance mental and emotional considerations. What flew out here? The moon and the awakening. So the moon, it says important psychic insights. It says events behind the scenes. It says release fears and hold, release fears that hold you back. Yeah. Release whatever this Five of Cups energy is. Now, for some of you, like I said, it could involve other people here. Um, you know, the Five of Wands, to me, can talk about um, jealousy, competition, other people involved, um, people competing against you, right? Um, the Five of Wands, it can talk about arguments. It can talk about petty arguments. Do you know what I mean? Again, the energy of things, people, places trying to hold you back here with trivial matters, it says competing goals. It says bothersome details, conflict with others. Now, the awakening card, it says, look at things from a different perspective. It says a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Now, I kind of said that. Now, this is kind of crossing the five of wands and the five of cups here. Whatever this was or whatever this is here that has kind of caused you to kind of be in this kind of mindset, you know, spirit says, see the bigger picture here. So what does this be assertive? So you have, look at that, release. It says the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation. It says time to move on. Yeah, it's almost like with the justice and the ace of air and the four of air. Uh, for some of you, this could have something to do with finances here. But that ace of air and the justice, it's almost like see the truth in a situation and move forward. It's almost like see the truth in a situation. And you know what? Make a decision that is right for you. It says fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. What is this release energy? It's almost like with that number 13, it boils down to a four. It's almost like when somebody walks away or releases something, they find stability. What is the release card? <laughs> I don't know. Someone could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces or Scorpio here. But then you have the Ace of Water, the Six of Water, which is a Seven of Cups, and then the Queen of Water, which makes the Eight of Cups. So I don't know if somebody started something here with someone. Maybe somebody went back to somebody from their past, or this is about a situation from the past here. Um, but the Eight of Cups, when you add them all together, the Eight of Cups talks about walking away from something that no longer emotionally fulfills you. So especially if this is a situation that always kind of gets you in your feelings here, right? Kind of upsets you because that five of wands, I'm not even going to lie. Like my son is in the background and he just almost irritated me. So someone could really be angry with somebody, right? Or somebody just likes to see somebody in that energy. It's almost like a rise for someone to see somebody unbalanced or angry or fighting or arguing. It's like, okay, all right, what is the release? What is the release? Thank you, Spirit. The Six of Water, straight back out here. It says memories from the past, 
sorry, it says memory from your history or childhood. It says issues regarding children. It says romance in the past. So for some of you, you know, this could be about a child or maybe this is someone here who, you know, needs to work through some kind of childhood issues here. Maybe something has happened to someone where it kind of reminds them of their childhood, right? And, and I just feel like it might not necessarily be a good memory here. So you have the King of Earth at the bottom of the deck here. So show me more. So you have the nine of water. Yeah, you know, this talks about your wishes coming true and it says concerns fade away, a love of a life. So, you know, some of you may be going into a relationship where it's going to be very healing for you is the first thing that I hear. It's the first thing that I hear here. Or um, I don't know, with it coming underneath release for some of you, this could be about a relationship that you saw as wish fulfillment here or a situation that you saw as wish fulfillment. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It's just there's a lot of emotions out here. You know, this could be to do with, like I said, something that you really wanted to hold on to, maybe a house, a job, a business, something, right? The emperor at the bottom of the deck now with a page of fire. See, it's almost like spirit saying, you know what, it's time for somebody to be assertive, take leadership here and to head towards something brand new with that page of wands. The king of fire, there's that motivation. Some of you may be thinking about going back to school or studying something here or you may be studying something right now. But whatever it is, if you are studying for something, you know, make sure that you just don't kind of do the paperwork. Make sure you put the action behind it here. You know, because you have the skilled workers rewarded out here. Give me one on this six of water. There's a message here from our Virgos, from their ancestors and their angels. Oh, look at that, the Six of Water. You have the Queen of Pentacles now. Now we saw the King. It says, make time for those around you. It says, take a sensible approach. It says, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Now, somebody could want to go back to somebody from their past here. Maybe they see the bigger picture of this situation. But give me one more. Thank you, Spirit. What are we getting stuck on? The Queen of Fire. Okay, why? <laughs> and the Page of Earth. Okay, I don't know. Maybe somebody needs a confidence here. And again, communication is the key. One more on this for your service. Queen of Water. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> she almost wanted to flip there. So we have relationships develop to a new level. It says trust your intuition. It says care for yourself and others here. So we have a queen of water out here and a queen of earth. You know, so that's also giving me the energy. You know, Virgos, you know, don't lose that touch about yourselves where you're very loving and you're very caring here, very nurturing, okay? Uh, maybe some of you have children. It's also giving me this energy where your children are your wish fulfillment. Maybe they bring out the best in you. Um, but this is also about staying grounded, staying focused. You know, it, it's that energy of having the balance here. What is communicate clearly? Two cards. First card is the Knight of Air. There's that rushing in with communication here. It says, it's almost like, you know, a spirit saying to someone, hey, if you can find the confidence to communicate with whoever or whatever this situation is for you, it says events that occur with great speed. So this is things moving along really fast here, right? Um, it says, take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. Now, somebody here may be kind of really trying to figure out what to say to someone, how to say something or how to present something here. Give me one more. Night of air. Yeah, and it came straight back out. You have this emperor energy. This is take charge. You know, the emperor is a boss kind of figure. And it's funny how I said take charge and the music just kind of stopped. <laughs> this is someone who... This is someone who has the potential to be the emperor, the empress, whatever. But what what's the problem here? I can see communication is definitely the problem. Give me one more on what the issue is here. 
Will this communicate clearly? The Sun card. Surely this couldn't be the issue. It says a happy outcome. It says brilliant new ideas that lead to success. It says have confidence in yourself. Okay, so confidence is the issue here. Oh no, Emperor, Empress. Look at that. The Ace of Earth. It's almost like spirit dangling something in front of somebody's face and saying, you know what, to this person, hey, we're going to dangle this ace of coins in front of you, but we're only going to dangle it for, such, for a certain amount of time. You decide if you want, go get it. It says the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture. It says important documents or contracts and then renew. So I don't know, for some of you, this important contract could even be, you know, maybe someone here wants to propose to someone. Not going to be for everyone. It's just because I'm just kind of feeling that with the Renew card. The Nine of Fire, though. Yeah, but they, someone has to put the confusion aside here to go after whatever or whoever this is. So give me one card from the Love and Light. One card. Thank you, Spirit. Ah, we have let love light the way. And it says, do not be afraid or discouraged. It says, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. It says, he will be with you. He will neither fail nor abandon you. Archangel Michael, what do you have? Thank you. What are we getting stuck on? Recognize the signs from above. Someone here is not paying attention to their intuition. Or maybe you are. Maybe you just don't want to listen to what it's saying. I don't know. Or maybe you don't want to listen to what it's saying. Well, we have trust your angels here. It says let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true. It says trust that heaven has a perfect plan. So again, you know, with that five of cups coming out first here, maybe there was something here that was wish fulfillment or somebody wanted something to happen in a situation and maybe it didn't right something didn't turn out the way somebody wanted it to but spirit says that's because it wasn't meant to so let's end this reading with mother mary all right mother mary what do we have thank you bottom of the deck we have faith i have faith in god to heal this situation and i feel like someone here doesn't have faith you have mercy. It says, I am kind and thoughtful towards myself and others. So Virgos, that is the message here that I have for you from your ancestors and angels. Guys, I answer you hit that thumbs up if anything in the reading did resonate with you. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgos.